es un honor para este programa eh, contar con la presencia de nada menos de Chris Angel visitando Cabo San Lucas. Welcome to Los Cabos, Chris. Thank you so much for having me here. It's uh, an amazing time, always in Cabo San Lucas. Why, why did you decide to come to Cabo? It's, it's not your first time, as well. No, I, 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 I come to Cabo. It's my favorite place. I come here probably uh, three to four times a year. Every two to three months, I take one week or two weeks, and I, uh, I spend it here with friends, family, and just have an amazing time. What do you like uh, Cabo? What you have done in these days? Well, for, for me, because I do my show Believe at the Luxor uh, ten times a week, and I'll be doing it for the next eight more years at a ten-year deal. Eight year, eight so, years. 46 weeks a year. So, when I get my break off, I, uh, I want to get away from work, and I want to just relax and enjoy myself. And uh, the people uh, here in Cabo are really very hospitable. They uh, treat me amazingly. Uh, there's great places to eat, an amazing pattern Paradise landscape and you do uh, extreme sports. I do, uh, uh, yeah. I go a little Baja, you know, jumping with the uh, dune buggies and a little uh, jet skiing and uh, do a little bit of everything and just have a great time. Like the Mexican food, I love yeah. the Mexican fajita, chicken fajita. That's all I eat every day, three, four times a day. Are you a, a magician or a, uh, illusionist or a, a mentalist or? A, a, or powers from beyond because maybe people say hey where you come from not what country what planet are you coming <laughs> from no? what, yeah. what do you feel of yourself well I'm an, I'm an artist that utilizes a lot of different paintbrushes to create a painting and experience and so for me it's really about um, blurring the line between reality and illusion and leave it up to the people that watch mind freak all over the world to determine is it real or is it an illusion you think about it and you decide what do you like to do most uh, uh, the regular magic or uh, the spiritual because sometimes it's scary no? yeah yeah People yeah it's like mm -hmm. a little gross or yeah. uh, I, I like doing different things I, for me you know it's all about connecting to the public on an emotional level so whether I'm doing an escape I'm doing something that's crazy or I'm doing something that's small and beautiful close-up magic it really doesn't matter to me it's all about the connection that I have to the public and my vehicle is magic how, how's the creative process because should be the most important thing who yeah. is doing you are doing it of course but who, who else is participating well, with you where we I just got done shooting my sixth season of mind freak we're now in 90 countries over a hundred million and people watch each season of Mind Freak. So I thank you, muchas gracias, to all my fans out there. Um, and for me, it's all about uh, coming up with new, innovative, fresh ideas that have never been seen before. And uh, I create all of the stuff that you see on television, but I have an incredible team that helps bring it to life, brings it to fruition. So, uh, you know, there's a process that I think about it in here. I think about how I can make it work, what I want to see, and then uh, how to bring it to life. And I bring my team in to help facilitate that because there are not many of, like you of course we, we have Copperfield this David uh, Blaine uh, but really you are right now doing uh, spectacular work and it's not easy because you have to create something new the challenge for the next right. one what has been for you the the top of your uh, your uh, acts well, I, I think some of the highlights of my career is when I floated above the Luxor more than 500 feet above Las Vegas Boulevard I've uh, I have the most watch uh, internet magic clip in the history of the internet which is when I walked on water I think it's like 37 million people watch that on YouTube alone uh, but for me it's always about pushing the envelope and trying to always lead the others to, to, to try to top me or to try to do something and I always try to top myself um, but I think it's very important to you know magic doesn't go into the respect that the that the industry like the cinema or music does and so for me I want to inspire future magicians to take the art of magic and make it uh, something that garners the same respect uh, that those industries do and 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 make it and, t and I want a, a kid now that's eight years old to take magic way beyond what I've done in my career and that's the goal is to inspire whether you want to be a professional magician or you just want to learn a couple things to meet a 
chiquita or a, you know break the ice at school or it, it's magic is a wonderful tool it served me incredibly well and I think everybody needs to learn one great trick and that's it you inspired in Houdini of course but who else uh, M my dad was actually dad? my biggest ins inspiration he was not a magician but he was a man who showed the power of the mind body and spirit when they worked together he was dying my dad and he was given three weeks to live and my dad says that it doesn't matter what the doctors say I'm gonna live to see my granddaughter my oldest brother was having a daughter mm -hmm. he wanted to see his granddaughter be born he lived for over three years he amazed the doctors and he showed me the most important lesson in life and that is the power of the mind body and spirit that anything in life is possible if you are watching this right now and you have a dream and you want to live your dream like I'm living mine I'm not special I'm not different than you you just got you just got to work for it and you got to live your dream and never listen to negativity it breeds nothing positive what do you do normally to exercise and to be in shape and mentally also you make yoga what what do you do I, uh, I work out with uh, weight training um, I, uh, I, I I do a lot of physical activities doing my show believe at the Luxor 10 times a week twice a night it's very physical so I'm hanging upside down in a straight jacket over the audience I'm running around I'm floating I'm doing all sorts of crazy things so I'm I'm exerting a lot of a lot of energy that's why it's so great to come to Mikabo and and have a chance to sit here with all the wonderful people the guests here have some drinks eat some food at and, the end uh, the, the lunch end uh, with the magic of the lunch end yeah it's amazing you know the the, the magic of Cabo and uh, and uh, intellectual preparation you know, what do you read or what do you like to read I hate or? reading yeah. I, I hate reading I was never a big reader I mean I I just honest that's not me as a person I have a lot of magic books and stuff that fascinates me but I don't honestly uh, have the time to do much of anything right now I, I do my live show and then I do my TV show and then I have other projects like the magic kits and so I have very very uh, little time to, to devote to other lots thing. of things that I like to what do. What about family? Uh, you have. Um, well, I bring my family to Cabo. Yeah. I bring when we get when I get a break. I actually brothers, bring my what? mother, my brothers, my friends. I just came on a trip with all my uh, friends and my family. Now I'm here with uh, probably seven guys, and uh, you know this is the opportunity to to not talk business and just talk fun. Yeah. And, and a lot of uh, fans fans they like to know you are single, still single. Yeah, I, I'm not so married. Terrible. That's true. I'm definitely not married. Married and uh, Are you probably in the, in the future or uh, have you thought in yeah. having children or yeah I, I, I mean God only knows but for me I'm married to my career right now and okay. I'm so uh, uh, passionate and obsessed with my work that I well, I want to be a father like my father was to me and until I can devote and dedicate that type of time I, I don't think it's fair for me to have a child it's something else that you want to to say to our friends about the message of life uh, what you want to transmit uh, with your uh, profession yeah. to the kids and and the young right. people that right now, you yeah. know, the, you know, the, the yeah. youth is a little sometimes with uh, temptations of uh, mm -hmm. drugs and things like uh, that. Drug, what, drugs what, are the what, drugs what are your, drugs that? are your the demise. You never ever ever get involved. I've never never ever gotten involved in that. I had many opportunities, but never because that is the root of failure, of disaster, of ruining your life, ruining your family's life. I lost my cousin Michael. Uh, to a heroin o overdose, I found him dead, and I oh. tried to help him, and and so I'm very much a, uh, against drugs. But I would just say to people that are watching this, so first of all, thank you for your love and support all over the world, and and I would just encourage you to. You don't know how long you have in life to live. And each and every moment you have, each and every day that you have, live it to its fullest and really try to live your dream. Spend every day trying to live what you believe you want out of your life. You got one life to live, live it to the fullest. And at least in the one at least one time in their life they have to come to Cabo, no? Well, I would say multiple times. I come to Cabo, yeah. like I said, three, four times and if you want to have a party and you want to have a great time, uh, uh, me Cabo is the place to come. This, I've been here many, many times, and uh, it's it's the most excitement, the most energy, the most amount of people, and it's in the heart, in the center of all the action. And if you want to have a great time, maybe I'll see you right here. And I just thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And uh, when you're in Las Vegas, come see me, and and I'll leave you off with one last thing.